hey guys welcome back to my channel it's marisa so in today's video i am doing my first wolf in time unboxing this is a subscription box but i just got a one time purchase so i'm really really excited because the theme is the fae and i am really really excited about this box i cannot wait so let's get started with the unboxing Hey guys, I am back. So if you're new to my channel, this is primarily an art channel. I do drawing, I paint, I do fluid art, I do resin art, I do paper crafting, I do arts and crafts. And my newest thing is doing some witchy unboxings, whether it be a subscription or not, and then making an art project off the theme of the box. And I've done that a couple of times already. I have some more I have to catch up because I did a lot of unboxings. I was so excited spending money <laughs> and doing all these really cool unboxings and I have to do some more art. So I'm really excited. So let's just get started. So I got this box because of the theme was the Fae Fairies. Um, yeah, so let's just get started with it. So this is the February box and this is how it comes. Um, it says Wolf in Time on it, so it's pretty inconspicuous. It just says fragile. There's no like witchy stuff on it really. So like if you're in the broom closet, you're cool. All right, ooh, pretty. So I just, I just, um, you know, cut it open with my trusty scissors here. So here it is, beautiful sticker and some pretty, pretty green paper. Love it. Let's see if I could not rip it too bad. Ah, I did a pretty good job. All right. So this is my first unboxing with this particular company. And they have, um, so they have three boxes all together. They have the Wolf in Time box, which is this one. And I believe the bigger one is called Luna Lux, I think. And then that's like the biggest box they offer. And then they have what's called Bone and Steel, which is a more masculine um, box, so they say. So, uh, so I got the like the middle one, I guess. Um, all right. So I don't know if this is gonna have any spoilers in it or not. So I'm just gonna see. All right. So I'm not okay. So just the. I'm just gonna read the top here because I think this is the theme. So Wolf in Time. This says. Deep in the forest, the soft moss cushions each step, and the quiet of the trees tell us that there are animals watching, fox, a deer, a bird, as we lift the ferns to find the little door deep in the trunk to the fey realm. The crows start to caw and the squirrels scamper close to you, for nature protects the way and fairies are all around. Our theme for this box, for this month, I'm sorry, is Fey Wisdom. And we will focus on reaching out to our Fey Guides while crafting with spring energy magic. So the rest I could see, I don't want to look at it because it has like what's in the box. So I'm so excited. All right. So I honestly, I don't know too much about the Fey. So I am all about it and I want to learn. And I already know what I can do with my art project because I have a lot of fairy uh, dyes and I have a lot of fairy papers so I can make like a multimedia project. So I'm really excited. All right. So the first thing on top is this little piece of parchment paper here. Ooh. So you have like a, a door ritual. This is cool. Um, so it says Fey Wisdom Door Ritual. And it is a DIY Fay door kit. All right, so this is information about it. Hold on, guys. Sorry, guys, I am back. My mom walked in again. I tried to tell her not to come in, but anyway. So on top here, I guess we're gonna get to the kit um, underneath somewhere here. But on top here, we have this beautiful artwork. 
and I have been raving about their artwork. I've seen it in many other unboxings and other channels, and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to try this box, but also like the theme. So look how pretty this is. Anything on the back? No, okay. So this is just the artwork. Wow, this is very, very pretty, very pretty. And I have um, a little fairy collection over in my other corner there. And you can't see it's in the middle of my plants and flowers. All right, so let's put her up there. All right, what do we have next? Ah, we have two incense sticks. Let's smell. Oh, that's pretty. Wow, that's very, very sweet. I don't know what is actually the scent. But that is very, very sweet. Usually I'm not into sweet ones, but this is really pretty. All right, I'm sniffing too much. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I'm so excited. I don't know what to get next. All right. So we have this beautiful green sachet. And there's a truck outside my door, of course. And I see something really, really pretty. I have no idea what's in it. Okay, what is this? Oh my god, what is this? This is beautiful. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to gently. Oh wow. This is really, really, really cool. Well, I can already see that I will be ordering from Wolf and Time again if I can get this undone here. This is really tangled. Ugh. All right, well, you know what? It's okay. Wow, this is such a cool necklace. Holy crap, sorry. <laughs> but this is really, really cool if it's still tangled up here. All right, it's okay. But I will figure that out later. Wow, this is gorgeous. Here, let's try to get that straight. Really, really cool. That is so cool. All right, I will straighten that out later. Oh, I'm in love with this box already. That is absolutely gorgeous. Let's put that there. All right, what is up next? Let's see. Ooh, we got some crystals. So we have a beautiful, like, brighter lime green, um sachet i love these sachets i just love them because i could store other crystals and you know use them you know repurpose them but these are so pretty very very springy i love it so let's move that over there so you can see the necklace and we have three crystals i don't know if this is a really muted amethyst or clear quartz or whatnot. Let's see if my camera wants to adjust there. Okay, I'm not sure what they are, but we will find out. Um, yeah, because they're very clear. So let's put those guys next to the necklace. Okay, well, it seems we got plenty more in here. Wow, okay, this is a nice box, guys. Um, so far, I am impressed. Let's see. What do we have here? Oh my god, I think it's something I'm really gonna love. Hold on. Ay -ay -ay. Oh wow, what is this? This is so pretty. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is a can I'm assuming this is a candle holder. Hand painted. Look at the inside. Holy. Wow. This is gorgeous. I am so happy I got this box. Hold on one second. What does it say inside? Hand pa painted glassware. How to use. So I don't. I guess maybe what not to do. I'll hand wash only. I can't really read that, but anyway, <laughs> sorry guys. There we go, how to use it. So, wow, this is 
fabulous. Very beautiful. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Let's move the box back a little bit. So let's, you could see. I'm just going to put that upside down so you could see how pretty it is. Okay. You know what? Let's leave it there. Okay. Oh, okay. A little fairy door. This is adorable. Then we have like this darker green sachet. Oh, this is so cute. It's a little tiny fairy door. Oh, that's so adorable. So that's a, actually a project maybe I could do with the theme of the box. You know, um, I do have other stuff, but oh, how cute. So my camera will focus on the pretty little butterfly. That is so cute. A tea light right here. Put that there in there. And then we have a little baby key. That is so cute. I, this is adorable. All right, what else is in here? Okay. And they gave us, oh, that's what's so cute. I mean, I have professional paints, but you know what? I'm going to be very childlike. Well, I, you know what? Forget about the professional paints. I'm a, I'm a kid anyway. I'm going to be 52 years old this year, guys. My birthday's coming up, and I am the biggest child. So this actually thrills me. We have these little paints. These are so pretty. Look at the colors. Very, very cute. Yes, I am a professional artist, but I am going to use these beautiful, beautiful paints. I'm really, really excited. That is adorable. So cute. So let's see if there's anything else in here. Oh, nope. That is it. Okay. So... We got our beautiful artwork. Okay, and we got the paint. So let's go. Let's, all right, so let's start from the beginning here. Hold on, let me just get the paperwork together and I will be right back. All right, guys. So um, this is actually a really beautiful ritual to kind of enter the Fey realm. But, you know, it kind of comes with the kit. I don't want to, like, give it away. But, so that is with, but I'm going to go, but honestly, I'm, what I'm going to do is I am going to do it on my channel. I am going to create the door with you guys on another video. And I will include some of the things in here. So I'm going to hold that for another, you know, another day. But I'm just going to go over this really quickly. So the first thing is the handmade glass flower candle holder, and it comes in one of four colors. So this to me looks, I guess it's pink, whoops. Um, but it could like, on the bottom it looks a little purple, but it is beautiful. So it comes in one of four colors, and it says, you have one of the four different colors of a handcrafted and hand-painted glass flower. It comes in pink, purple, red, and blue. And when they are lit with a candle, they sparkle and glow with the aura of fey magic. It is used in your included ritual and is a perfect addition to your fey altar or meditation space. So you know what? Let's, I have plenty of tea lights, so let's light her up. Come on, there you go. Oh, that is so pretty. That is really beautiful. Look at that. Wow. That is so lovely. I love that. All right. I'm just going to keep her here for now. Okay. All right. The DIY Fay Door Ritual Kit and Paint Set. And you have this one of four designs. 
Fade Garden Incense Sticks 2. So we have the two incense sticks. So like during the ritual, I'm going to um, keep these until I do the next video. Okay, I promise. Even though they smell lovely, but I literally have, I think, hundreds of incense sticks that I can use. So I can keep these. Now these, um, we're going to get to those in a second. Uh, let's see what it says. In your little green bag, holds a special wooden door, one of four designs, a handcrafted wooden butterfly button, a little key charm, and a tea light for your flower candle holder. <clears throat> you also get a full color crafting paint set with brushes to help you decorate your new fade door you will be making for your ritual. It can also be added to your fade garden, your fade altar if you have one or any nature place you want to connect to the fairy world. Instructions come in your ritual scroll along with creative ideas and a special spell and two fade garden incense sticks for cleaning and meditation. No, excuse me, cleansing and meditation. So here is that. And then the stones right here are Praseolite. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Um, raw crystal shards. So let me just bring those up again real quick. Very pretty. And I certainly don't have this. So this is so beautiful. So it is the element of earth. Um, chakra is the third eye solar plexus heart and crown oh wow cool um, focus is awakening the heart uh, deep connection to nature and linking the lower and higher self that is beautiful um, <clears throat> ah okay I definitely don't have that because I knew it was kind of like an amethyst but uh, Praseolite, again, I'm saying that wrong, also known as green amethyst, is a member of the quartz family, and its name derives from the Greek word meaning leek, uh, or it's leek green color, so leek as in L-E-E-K, the, like the veggie, uh, for its leek green color. This, this crystal starts out as a purple amethyst, but is heated by volcanic thermal activity to the green color it is mined as or artificially created by heat by heat kiln your shards were mined from brazil but can also be found in arizona it assists it assists you in grounding so that you could become closer to the earth and helps you communicate with fairy folk and in healing shamanic in a healing shamanic journey. It helps you awaken the wisdom within, learn more from nature, love yourself more through authentic self-acceptance. Wow, don't I need a lot of that? Well, I've been working on that for quite some time and, and I'm, I'm actually doing much better with that. Um, use your shards in the provided ritual with your crystal grid or in your own meditation practice. These will be perfect in, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be, some of the next things I'm going to be doing is uh, working on like a self-love, um, um, it'll probably come out even before this video, I'm not sure, but anyway, a self-love um, painting, uh, I'm going to do a fluid pour um, with, uh, in connection to the um, Inked Goddess Creations box I just did. And I used that box to help me in my self-love um, altar. And these are just the thing I needed to add. I had some crystals up there, the pink um, quartz and amethyst, which is like an amethyst is just a, a wonderful healing um, stone. And of course the um, rose quartz is great for self-love. But I don't know, I was just like kind of not feeling it so much and these are going to be amazing for that i love that so i'm going to use them in this ritual but i'm also going to use them after this ritual i'm going to put them in my self-love altar yes 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 very very all right so now we have the original artwork right here so beautiful so gorgeous i love that and i love that it's in this nice plastic 
Okay. So this is really, really quick. Original artwork, 5x7, and I actually have a 5x7 um, frame. 5x7 uh, watercolor print. Um, Shaman Ritual Painting by Kate Grady. Here you go. Kate Grady right there. Uh, guarding the she. I, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Um, is an original watercolor painting created for the intention of nature and animal protection. The fox looks up into the rays of the sun peeking through the branches while the bird stays watch at the door of the she. Um, within the trunk, see it says here, she, okay? Because <laughs> I am sure I would not have said it correctly. Um, watch at the door of the she. Within the trunk is a portal to the other realm and holds the key to the life of the Fae. A dragonfly hovers above in a, gar in a guardian aura, making sure the spirit messages are delivered and the forest hides the little door with the cover of the fern. Um, and the art process is on their YouTube channel, Wolf and Time. So you can actually watch their video, and I didn't know this very cool, um, making this painting. Did I say Kate Grady? I think it's Kat. Sorry, I apologize. I did say Kate, I think. It's Kat Grady. And I believe she makes these boxes. She is the creator of Wolf and Time and the Boxes, I am sure. Look how pretty that is. That is lovely. Beautiful, beautiful artist. All right, guys. And the last item is the silver. I am so happy it's silver. Luna Moth Fay necklace. Uh, this unique piece of jewelry reminds me of a necklace the Fae would wear. Yep, definitely. With its branches reaching upon the chain, the stretch up like the they stretch up like the uh, antlers of a buck and a bold lunar moth, detailed with all of the moon's phases. It glows silver like the moonlight, and its large wings could be transformed into the Fae itself. It is silver plated alloy with adjustable length. And it says, create magical moments, sit in the sunlight and remember to thank the Fae folk. And it just gives you the next month's um, theme, which is ancient botany, plant foraging, healing crafts and flower rituals. Well, I may be getting next ones too. Oh boy. Uh. Because this is lovely. This is really, 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 really lovely. I love this box. I'm really, really happy about it. I was going to do another project. Um, this is so beautiful. I will be proud to wear this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, I was thinking about doing like maybe a paper crafting because I do have a lot of like i said fairy um like stamps and uh stuff like that but because it came with a perfect little painting set i am in another video this is what i'm gonna do it's perfect so we can we're gonna decorate our door here's the little key and then you know maybe um i have plenty of glitter um, and other stuff, but I will use the paints in honor of this kit and um, You know, maybe I'll just do the ritual with you guys or I'll show it to you and I'll share it with you and You know, it's it's using the tea The tea light as well. Look at that how that sparkles. Isn't that beautiful? I am in love with this box. I think is absolutely gorgeous so what do you think about it, guys? And what is your favorite item? Um, honestly, I think we all know my favorite item. I like the DIY kit. I think, honestly, this is kind of hard. Um, I love the crystals. I think they're amazing. I love the artwork. I love the candle holder. And I love the necklace. 
um, this is and this is like perfect for me and I mean I don't know I, I don't know if I have a favorite I even love those sachets are gorgeous look at this all different colors of green I think this is beautiful absolutely beautiful so that is it guys so in another video I am um, going to paint this with you and yeah and I'll decorate it I have glitter um, I have tons of stuff so we'll maybe add a little glitters um, I actually bought some beautiful moss maybe we can add a little I actually literally bought f uh, forest moss for another project so maybe we'll add a little forest moss and some glitter to our painting and we'll make it a little um, a little day of it a little video of it okay so that's it guys thank you so so much for watching um, let me know in the comments which item you like the best I may have to get another box I may have I may have to get next month's box I don't know what do you think um, the plant stuff really is attracting me again I'm not gonna get every box from every company uh, that's just not happening but like if something really interests me I will look into it all right guys thank you so much again and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and i will see you in the next one bye